Hi folks, welcome back to Physics with Captain Rod. I'm making this video to help out with uh, chapter 13, number 79. So, we've got this current here labeled I sub O, and that's going to have magnetic field lines around it that look like so. Over in this region of the current loop, that means you're going to have magnetic field vectors um, in the minus k direction in a standard, you know, what I call Zatcha XYZ Zatcha coordinate system. Now, something to realize is that as we go left to right here, the magnetic field is getting weaker because of the uh, 1 over R behavior of the field around the wire. Now, in addition to that, this loop is moving to the right with a speed V. So there's a couple things that have to be realized. First, there is a magnetic flux through this cross-sectional area here because of the magnetic field created by the wire. Second, that magnetic flux is decreasing because as this wire moves to the right, um, it's moving towards regions with uh, uh, less magnetic field strength, if you will. So in order to calculate the current here, the current can be calculated, it's going to equal E over R, and that's just Ohm's law, uh, voltage equals current times resistance, where this E is going to be the induced EMF in the loop. This we're going to get from Faraday's law of induction. That induced EMF is equal to V phi VT. But before we can differentiate, you're going to need an expression for this, the magnetic flux through the loop. Now, because the magnetic fields are constant at a distance r, you're going to want to start by drawing a vertical rectangle. Okay, that has a uh, width equal to dx then the area of that rectangle would be a dx. Now what we're going to do with this is we're going to write out an expression for the magnetic flux through this cross-sectional area, which is b dot dA. Now the b, if you will, is the magnetic field vector at this location due to this wire. So that's going to equal a mu sub o over 2 pi I sub O over, oh, let's see, we're going to want the distance from here to here, so we'll call that R. So this quantity is going to go there. The DA is going to be the area of this rectangle, which is A dx. As far as the dot product is concerned, the magnetic field vectors are away from us, and we could say that the dA vector also away from us, angle between them is 0, cosine of 0 is 1. So, and again, this is your homework, I don't want to finish it, but, you know, the next line is going to look like the flux equals integral, and again, that's going to come from this. The integration is going to be over, um, ooh, i got to back up here, we should be a little bit more careful. Um, I called this X and I called this R. Technically, by the way I label this, I'm sorry, that should be a DR. So this flux is going to be field strength times area, which is a DR. And then the integral is going to be from the lower bound, which is X, to the upper bound, which is X plus B. So um, work this out, you're going to get some sort of expression. Once you have that expression, uh, it's going to be some function of, it should probably have the A, the B, no doubt it'll have that current, um, probably have the X as well. Then you can get the induced voltage by taking the time rate of change of this expression. Now, the only one of these that's time dependent is this one. And where you hit a dx dt, that's this thing, the uh, velocity of that bar. So that should be enough. That'll get you through this homework problem. Um, if, if not, you know, post about it in the forum and or, uh, post your work, and I'll try to help you out with it. Have a great day.